we're all ready to go. We are going out shopping. This is the cozy outfit of the day. Very comfortable. Put my hair up. We are having a storm later. What they're calling it a blizzard. 30 centimeters of snow, which is 12 inches for my American friends. And also um, 80 kilometer an hour winds. That's 50 miles an hour. And storms always make me feel so cozy. So I love to cook and bake during a storm. So we're gonna go to this market. It's a little country market. I think you guys will love it. We're all ready to go. Let's go. sections awesome they are known for their more healthy choices this granola is amazing we have a vegan granola we have a sourdough breads okay so we're looking for Swiss chard because I want to put it in the Tuscan soup we are. There we are. You can put spinach, but I love the Swiss chard. Okay, so I'm looking for ground beef. You can put ground turkey or ground chicken in this soup, but I love the richness of the ground beef. They make their own mozzarella. Aged cheddar is really good. The soups here at Farm Boy are really good, especially for something quick. Surprisingly, the Italian wedding soup, which we call stracciatella, is very good. And for an Italian to say that, that's something. Now I saw something really interesting here. Roasted buffalo cauliflower. That sounds like a recipe I want to make. How Canadiana is this? Love it! In my opinion, Farm Boy is the most cozy place to shop. We're at home since. I had to stop here to try to get my um, cinnamon. But look, spring's coming. I can't wait. Okay. I come in here for one thing and I see something else. Look. Gorgeous. It's got that old world vibe. It's beautiful. Outdoor living. I can't wait. Okay, this one's gorgeous too. It's huge though. So what I'm really after is a special cinnamon that I have found here before and their cocoa. So let's see if I can find it. I see the cocoa nibs. That's not what I want. Let's see if we can find the cinnamon. Sometimes you have to dig. Okay, so I found the one that I got last time for the cocoa powder. Okay, they have cinnamon sugar, but no cinnamon. Oh, they have the turmeric. I've had this one before, it's excellent. I have to get that one too. The ashwagandha powder is really good too. It's, it's excellent for inflammation, but I've never tried that brand before for ashwagandha, so I'm not sure. We're back from the market and today we're making Supa Toscana. It's a really hearty, satisfying soup and it's great for a stormy day. Now traditionally this soup was made higher carb, 
um, with beans. So what I did was I replaced the beans with a lot of cabbage and I used less potato. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by making the chicken broth. I make that chicken broth in the Instapot because it's so easy. Usually I have some on hand in the freezer, but what I do is when I cook a whole chicken, I will um, make that soup in the Instapot and then just put portions of it in the freezer. So anytime I wanna make something like this, I always have that on hand. But I'm showing you here how I do it. So this is the chicken um, carcass from a, a roasted chicken that I made. And I just add whatever vegetables that I have on hand. But I always make sure I put lots of onion, lots of garlic, salt, pepper, turmeric, and that's about it for the spices that I use. I just fill the Instapot up to its maximum. And I cook it for about an hour, um, sometimes two hours. If I were to make a bone broth, I would cook it for about four hours on high pressure. For the vegetables in this soup, you could pretty much add whatever you like. For the greens, you can uh, use spinach, but I really like the Swiss chard. Also, I usually add celery into this, but of course, forgot to get it from the market. I did not forget the cheese, but I did forget the celery. Once you've sauteed all of the vegetables, just slightly, you're not really wanting to cook them all the way through at this stage, but once you've done that, you can add the bone broth. Now, this bone broth is basically like liquid gold. The flavor is so rich. You can use store-bought, but I just love the homemade because it's just, it gives this soup that authentic flavor. So you're going to want to simmer the soup for about 40 minutes to an hour until the vegetables are nice and tender. Then you'll add the cream. I use half milk and half cream, about a half a cup. Then I add the greens and I put the lid on and let it cook for another 10-15 minutes until the greens are nice and wilted and then the soup is done. You want to garnish with some really good Parmesan cheese, maybe some crusty bread on the side. Delicious. It's later in the evening and the heavy snow's falling outside. It's the perfect night to curl up under a blanket by the fire and read a good book. 
I think I'll make some hot cocoa to add to the cozy. I'll start with making some whipped cream to top my cocoa. To create cozy in our home, I believe we must truly be present in these little moments. These quiet rituals allow us to mindfully inhabit our house and that makes it a home. Thank you for spending time with me today and sharing these little moments. We'll see you next time.